Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Nale channel. Today's topic is Brain Teaser Part 4. I picked up from this book called The Complete Book of Fun Math uh, by Philip Scotter and Ken Russell. There are 10 questions we are going to discuss today. So before, uh, uh, you know, before I go and discuss about 10 questions, I would like to brief about this book. This book has got eight chapter. Chapter number one, the, the workout, think laterally, test your numerical IQ, fun numerations, think logically, the, the logic of gambling and probability, geometrical puzzles, complexities, and curiosities. So few of the wording uh, which I really like it. I quickly wanted to uh, you know read it out, read it out for you for the benefit of you. The word lateral mean. For, I'm quoting this one. The word lateral means means of a relating to the side away from the median axis. Lateral thinking is a method of solving a problem by attempting to look at that problem from many angles rather than search for a direct heads-on solution it involves therefore the need to think outside the box develop a degree of creative innovative thinking which seeks to change our natural and traditional perception very very powerful point concepts and ideas by developing this type of thinking we greatly increase our ability to solve problem that faces which could not otherwise solve Another reference being given in the same book, every workout, be it a physical, mental, involves a limbering, limbering up session, meaning like freshen up session. The puzzle in this chapter are such a limbering session. They have been specially selected to get you think numerically and to increase your confidence when working with numbers or face with the situation in which the mathematical calculation is required. Like all the puzzles in this book, they are uh, to amuse and entertain. Uh, really, this book is uh, very entertained. So, and again, uh, the last uh, chapter, chapter number one, uh, chapter number eight, it has given a small reference actually. I'm not going to read it out uh, whole para, but only first para I'm going to read it out for you. While several of the puzzles in this section do involve a degree of complexity, very difficult and elaborated uh, you know, form of questions and all that. They do not involve any spe specialized knowledge. In other words, each one of us is capable of solving the puzzle without the need to be aware of the some specific formula. And the reference goes. The first question here we go. So we have a ten questions. Uh, so a manufacturer produces widgets, but not to a very standard in a test batch of 16 five were defective that means in a batch of 16 products five were defective then they carried out a longer production run in which 25 of 81 were defective so had they improved their quality control performance after the test run you need to tell and uh, uh, you need to uh, logically prove whether there is an improvement or there is not an improvement your time starts now eight seven six five four three two one and the answer is you can simply divide it uh, you know but there is a slight improvement five by sixteen is point three one two five uh, that is uh, 31 percentage uh, defective and here in this case 25 by 81 that means uh, 0 0.3086 that means 30.86 slight very slight Im improvement you can also convert this in the million opportunity also as well right so parts per million opportunity the one which we typically do in lean six sigma question number two So this is the question, the image of this uh, question. What weight should be placed on X? This is the X. And uh, in order to balance the scale. So has got uh, four grid here and has got again the four grid here. 
uh, the second grid and third grid is filled with 7 kg and 6 kg here uh, the second grid is filled with 4 kg and we, we need to find out the fourth grid of the right hand scale so your time starts now if you are getting the answer please do comment it is going to be very very interesting and the answer is So the answer is, so what happened actually like seven, so this is, uh, uh, you know, in into three, if you write from this one, into three is 21, six into two, the second grid, uh, 12. So the combination on the left hand side is 33, 33 kg. On the right side, the, you can apply the same formula or same uh, concept, four into two, four into two equal to eight and 6.25 if you multiply with this one and you will get uh, 33 so the both scales are well balanced question number three my house number is the lowest number on the state that when divided uh, by two or three or four or five or six you will always leave a remainder of 1. However, when divided by 11, there is a no remainder. So, what is my house number? Can you take a guess? And the answer is 121. Why 121? Take, substitute this 121 by 2. You will get the remainder 1. Even the same thing, if we 121 by 3, you will get the remainder 1. 4, you will get the same thing. 5, you will get the same thing. 6, you will get the same thing. When it comes to 11, you will not get the remainder. That's a big clue. Question number 4. In the first innings of a cricket team scored between 400 and 500. That's what we need to find out. So, they have given the uh, between value. Yeah. The top four scoring batsmen each scored one third, one quarter, one fifth, and one seventh of the team total score. Coincidentally, the sum of the score of uh, the sum of the squares, uh, sc sorry, coincidentally, the sum of the scores of the top four scoring batsmen in the first innings was exactly the total uh, scored by the team is in the second innings. How many did the team score in the first and second innings can you take a guess what's the answer answer is very very simple the answer is 420 how 420 so if you do this one third one fourth one qu i mean one quarter uh, one fifth and one seventh you're gonna multiply with this one so 420 and here if you divide for example 420 by 3 you will get 140 by 4 you will get 1, 105, by 5 you will get 84 and by 7 you will get 60. So add them all, you will get 420 is the sum value. Question number 5. In my fish tank, I have 34 tiger fish. The male fish have 87 stripes each and the female fish have 29 stripes each. If I take out two third of the male fish, how many stripes in total remain in my fish tank? Can you take a guess what's the answer? Answer is 986. How that calculation goes? Since 29th is the one third of 87, right? So each fish has the equivalent of 29 stripes after two third of the male fish have been removed the answer is therefore 34 into 29 that simply 986 question number six so this is look at the uh, number carefully and you need to tell that uh, you need to find out this question mark maybe i'll make it uh, big <coughs> So, this is the uh, number 99 followed by 45 followed by 39 followed by 36, 28 and so on. And you need to figure out this one, the question mark. 
and your time starts now and the answer is it is add up the digit like 9 plus 9 7 plus 2 27 9 plus 9 7 plus 2 27 and the same it goes so in this case uh, if you look at here 3 plus 6 2 plus 1 3 plus 6 9 plus 1 10 12 so 12 is the answer lateral thinking example typical example of lateral question number 7 so look at this brahmit uh, e each number in the brahmit is the sum of two numbers immediately below it fill in the uh, brahmit with the missing number so your time starts now if you're getting it please please do comment uh, it will be wonderful to have a uh, interactions and the answer is one this is the answer maybe i'll make it a bigger one 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 five nine five two three one two eight and so on and so forth yeah and question number eight Look at the pattern. So the first two, uh, look at the pattern closely and you will be able to get this answer very, very easily. Can you take a guess? The answer is, it's simply uh, you need to uh, multiply these two diagonally. 5 eighths of uh, 40 by 4, you need to divide this one by 10. So the same thing applies here also as well. For example, 6 fourths of 24 by 2 is 12, 6 9s are uh, 4, I mean 6 9s are 54 by 3 is 18. Question number 9. A car manufacturer produces only red and blue models, which come out of the final testing area completely random, at random. What are the odds that 5 conceived car of the same color will come uh, through the test area at any one time time starts now 1 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and the answer is 1 in 16 or 5, uh, 15 uh, in, is to 1. Each car is a red or blue that is 1 in 2. To repeat the 5 times is to the power 5, right? So 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, right? However, the first car must either be red or blue. The chances are that the first car doesn't come into the calculation. The answer is therefore to the power 4 that is 16 or you can say 15 by 1. 15 is to 1. The last one is, is a big lengthier question. I will make it a little quicker. The two puzzles and it, it has got two divisions. Uh, both follow the same method. The two puzzles that follow both involve the same method of solution. One man can mow a field in two hours. One man can mow a field in three hours, four hours and six hours. If they all work together at their respective speed, how long would it take? To mow the fields that's question number a and the, uh, the b is the hot tap takes six minutes to fill the bath uh, the cold tap takes two minutes to fill the bath the water emptied empties uh, through the plug hole in four minutes if both taps are on and the plug is left out is how many minutes will the bath be filled the curiosities the questions are related to curiosities the answer is the first answer is the a question i'll quickly uh, tell this answer suppose one man takes two hours to mow a cricket pitch now suppose another man helps him now you, what will happen is who also takes two hours then together they will be obviously mow the pitch in one hour because both are distributing the same work, so one hour. So, uh, and then it goes the same thing. Uh, similarly, like using the same process, like in the calculation, what we need to do is one by fourth, you will say 0.25, and one by two, you will say 0.5, and so on. 
so however 0.5 does not give the actual time taken it is necessary to divide into 1 that is 1 by 0.5 and so on and so forth so uh, and the figure is known as a reciprocal method which is in def uh, the definition is the point quotient resulting from the dividing unity by 1 by a qu uh, quantity for example the reciprocal of 4 is 1 by 4 is 0.25 the reciprocal of 2.5 is uh, I know uh, 1, 1 equal to 2.5 and, and so on and so forth this method can therefore be applied uh, to much complicated problems let us imagine for example that one man takes two hours to mow a field the other man takes three hours then unlike the example given uh, above it is not easy to arrive at the correct answer with a quick uh, algorithm or arithmetic it is not correct to say that when they uh, work together they can complete the work 2 plus 3 phi r divided by 2 2.5 r because the faster worker always uh, do work more than the other one to arrive the correct answer therefore it is necessary to apply the same method using reciprocal method you can apply thus the man a takes 2 r so that means one uh, one you can do do by one divide by one one by two point five and b takes 3r 1 by 3 is 0 0.33 and total you will have 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.8 and 1 the whole thing you will divide like 1 by 0 0.83 so 1 hour 20 uh, 1 hours 20 minutes so 1 hour 12 minutes in uh, you will take it apply the same process to the next puzzle also man a 2 1 by 2.5 1 by 3.3 1 by 4.5 and then you will get the total so here the emphasis which I would like to uh, pass it in this one is reciprocal. In such, in such, you know, the questions like this, what method you can use it is reciprocal. You can uh, met method you can use or conjugate method you can use it. I hope these uh, questions are little trickier. At the same time, it is uh, you know enlightening us with uh, many ways of thinking. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. Uh, you have a nice uh, day ahead.